What is going on guys? If you want to see fuck. What is going on guys? If you want to see how to make this external B hop hack for CSGO, just like this. Uh watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. It's real simple, real easy. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna be using my external base. It's called null base. Um I do have an external series already, but it's outdated. And since then I've updated this base and uh the way you use it is a bit different. So in this updated version, I'm going to show you how to use it for now. And um, also there were some episodes where I didn't um, talk in the last series. So I'm going to try to talk every episode in this one so that I can actually explain everything I'm doing. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, at 1000 subscribers, I'm going to be releasing an internal game hacking uh, series, just like this series, but it's going to be for internals. Uh, it'll probably be for CSGO because that's what's most popular on my channel. Also, um, if you want to support me, check out my Patreon, it's in the description. There's two tiers, there's a $3 tier, and that's just a supporter where you get access to early videos, um, and you also get a special role in my Discord server, and you get to add me on Discord so uh, we can have private chats on there. Uh, and then there's another tier called uh, Fan, which is $5, and you get access to early videos, um, the an ad on Discord, and you get a special role, and you also get access to the source code for all my videos. Um, you can see here, um, I've just uploaded the um, VMT hooking uh, source code from the last video. But there's heaps of the source code on here, it's from all my videos. So um, yeah, check it out if you want. Uh, the more support I get, uh, the more quality I can put into these videos. So if you wanna see my, my fuck. If you wanna see the quality of my videos improve, or if you want to see me post more content, then make sure you support me on here. Um, if not, that's fine. Just leave a like on this video and subscribe. That'll help me just as much because then the YouTube algorithm will show my video to more people and shit like that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start fresh, uh, just how you would start. So the link for this GitHub is going to be in the description. Just click on it and you'll get to this page. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click this green button and download a zip and it's going to download okay once it's done downloading i just open it up i'm going to drag and drop it somewhere wherever you want and then go into it and you want to open the solution file which is .sln and you're going to need visual studio for this of course uh, which is an ide okay once it's open uh, i'm just going to click here i'm going to go into source files cheat cheat.cpp this is where um, you're going to be coding your cheat and where all the stuff happens. Um, if you want to see like under the hood of how it works, then you want to go into these other f the fuck. Then you want to go into these other folders here: uh, helpers, mem, SDK, all that bullshit. That's where all the uh, uh, that's where all the um, shit is. Okay. Uh, if you just want to make a cheat and follow the video, then you just want to use cheat.cpp. Um, so you can see when you first open it, you, there's a lot of errors here, a lot of red lines. I'm going to show you how to fix all these uh, because from my last series, I actually didn't show any of this and I got a lot of uh, people asking how to get rid of all these errors and shit. So uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to change this to release. I'm going to change this to x86. Right, so the reason I'm making this release is just because um, I want it to... Fuck. The reason I'm making this release is because that's how I want to compile the executable. Uh, debug and release it compiles differently, so I want to do release for this one. Um, and I'm doing x86 because that's what you need for CSGO. If it's another game like um, Rainbow Six Siege, for example, I'm pretty sure for that one you, you need x64. So it depends on what game you're hacking. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go into projects and then go into properties. And where it says Windows SDK version, I'm going to click this arrow. I'm just going to click whatever's in here. Um, and that's going to set it to your SDK version that whatever you have installed. Uh, sometimes you might need to go into the platform tool set and change this one to whatever Visual Studio you're using. I'm using 2017. So if you're on like 2015 or something, you're going to have to change that as well. Another thing you want to change is character set. You want to make sure that it's on multi-byte. Okay, make sure it's like that. Next thing, um, this base requires uh, the DirectX SDK. The reason this 
Space uses uh, DirectX SDK is because of um, some data types in there and for the world to screen and shit I use like a lot of the uh, DirectX functions just to make it easier. So you want to go into the include directories, click this arrow and then edit and you want to click this and this and then you, this is where you want to find where DirectX is installed. Usually it's installed, <clears throat> just follow my path here, I'm going to go program, file. I'm going to go x86 and then search for Microsoft and it's there, DirectX, SDK, and then whatever version you have. And then you wanna go into include for this one. And then that's it, just click select folder and that's it. And then you wanna go into library directories, edit this, this, and then you wanna go to the same place and then you wanna go lib and then x86 because we're doing x86 up here, okay? Click apply when that's done. And then uh, these should go away, yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna just try build it. And I'm gonna get an error. And I know I'm gonna get this error. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. And I'll show you how to fix it as well in case you get it. So I get this error here. I never used to get it. I don't know why I get it. But it says it can't open this certain fo uh, lib file here. So I'm just gonna show you how to fix it if you get it. All you need to do is just find where this lib, lib file is and then you just um, include it in the library directories. So I'm just going to look for it in here real quick. I have an idea of where it is. It's in, um, you want to go in your program files and then you want to search for uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and then whatever version you have, I've got 2017 and then go into common set on a VC right here and then tools and just keep following this and then you want to go lib uh, and then x86 because we got x86 up here and then I think it's just like there yep select folder and then it, the error should go away yes one succeeded so the base comes oh all right so that was how you um kind of get the base ready and how you fix all the errors so now we can start coding uh the base comes with bhop already coded in here and with a bunch of comments to show you how to use the base but uh some people still have a bit of trouble so i'm going to delete this all right so the first thing we want to do is you just want to use this include includes what does this do it includes all the files they have to include so i'm just going to leave that in there um all right so the first thing we want to do is we want we want to attach to the process if you don't know what that means check out my game hacking 101 video or external game hacking 101 video i'll probably link it in the description or something uh that explains uh what attaching to the process is and uh these base addresses and all that that's going to explain the fundamentals for external game hacking and then you can follow follow this series and um, understand everything that's going on so I'm going to attach to the process I'm going to use XOR and what XOR is it's an encryption and basically it's just going to encrypt this string here which says csgo.exe so that if you try and look inside of this program's memory uh, you won't be able to just search for the string literal csgo.exe you won't be able to see that it'll be uh, encrypted okay so that if uh, vac or something tries to uh, detect that it's uh, doing something to csgo it's not going to be able to do it by just searching for strings because it's going to be encrypted okay so this helps it stay undetected a little longer so once we've attached so with the next one we're going to do another if i'm going to say base address I'm using XOR again because I um, want to encrypt this. Uh, I want to encrypt this. Fucking, I can't think and type. Um, I want to encrypt this string. Okay, nice. All right, panorama.dll. Okay. Yep, cool. So, what this is doing is we're getting uh, the base address of the client uh, DLL thingy above. Um, 
I need another bracket here, okay. All right, so what have we done so far? We've attached to the to CSGO and we've gotten the base address for the client panorama DLL. Yeah, so we can use this base address here to offset from it and um, make our BR pack and stuff like that. So next thing we wanna do is we want to go local player and this is new. This is what's new in my base. And if you watch the old videos, this isn't how you use it, but this is how you're meant to use it now, okay? So we go local player and then we do two semicolons here. This is, um, that's how you access the members inside. And we're gonna say get local player or oh, set local player actually. We're gonna say set local player, okay? And because in this space, the local player is like a global variable. So um, we need to set it first and then we can do whatever we want with the um, local player. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna say while not Okay, so we're doing a while loop here and we're saying while we don't press F10, we're gonna do whatever's inside here, okay? So basically F10 is gonna be our panic key. So if we press F10, it's gonna close the cheat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if, um, well first let's think, okay. So what do we want our B up to do? Well, we want it to jump when we're on the ground and when we're pressing space, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to check if we're pressing space and then we're also going to check if we're on the ground. So the way we do that is we just say if get a sync key state. Uh, I'm going to say space here. So if we're pressing space um, and I need a bracket here. So if we're pressing space and we're on the ground so the way you find out if you're on the ground is we're going to check our local player flags so we're just going to go local player and we're going to look in here i'm going to say get flags yep get local flags and if it's 257 i believe that means we're on the ground if not i'll fix it up later um so what we're saying here is we, if we're holding space and if we're on the ground we want to jump right so we're going to say local player force jump and that's it. Um, I'm gonna look over the code here. I'm gonna say, so we attach, then we get the base address, we set the local player address, and then we're saying, well, while we're not pressing F10, if we hold space and we're on the ground, jump. And then if we press F10, we exit and we close the handle, yep. And yeah, I'm gonna try build this and see if it works. Yes, build succeeded. All right, cool. So we're gonna go into where we got our, where we put the folder and we're just gonna go release because we're using release up here. And here, nullbase.exe, let's run it. Okay, so it says that it found csgo.exe and it found the module base. Okay, uh, let's load in here and let's see if we b-hop when we hold space and shit. Alright. Oh, would you look at that? It's B hopping. I don't know why I'm dropping FPS so bad. So in the next video, I want to do a trigger bot and then I want to do glow ESP and then I want to do aimbot uh, and maybe a radar hack as well. So basically I want to do everything I did in my last series, but I want to update it for the new null base just because a lot of people were having trouble with using the updated version of null base. And also I'm going to try update the offsets as regularly as I can. So if you download this base here of my GitHub and the offsets aren't updated, I'll show you how you can update them. It's very simple. Uh, you can use Haze Dumper. So if you just go here, so you just search Haze Dumper on GitHub and it'll come up. Uh, you'll be on this page here, I think. And then you just want to go csgo.hpp and usually these guys update it pretty regularly. Um, and all you do is you just go where it says netvars, you just click there and drag all the way down uh, till you get to the first bracket here, okay? And then you just copy that and then go into your uh, base or your cheat and then go into SDK, not mem, not, oh, yep, in helpers. And then you just click offsets.hpp and then you just go from netvars, scroll all the way down 
to this bracket here. Oh fuck, well let's go up now. Um, okay, and then you just press Control V to paste it. And then you want to change signatures here. You just change it to OFFS. And I'm going to get rid of that comment there. And that's it. <clears throat> Make sure this one's called NetVars. Make sure this one, this namespace is called OFFS. And then your offsets are going to be updated or they should be updated. Okay, and that's how you update the offsets. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, if this helped you out, if you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. Like I said at the start of the video, uh, at 1000 subscribers, I'm going to release a internal game hacking series. So I'm going to show you how to make a DLL, inject it into CSGO, and how to hook all the functions and stuff like that. Okay, um, see you in the next video.